So here we are coming up to a uh, another national election. So let's do a little video on politics and see if that doesn't stir up <laughs> a lot of uh, what animosity, craziness. Um, I am not endorsing anyone for anything, but I did want to just say that every time Jesus is in, encounters someone who is feeling fear, he says, don't be afraid. In the book of Revelation, where the, the whole book is written to Christians who are being attacked, persecuted, uh, tempted to join in with the empire, all through it, Jesus and messengers from heaven, angels, um, repeatedly tell us, not to be afraid. Bible says that perfect love casts out fear. He who fears has not been made perfect in love. So if your politics is based on fear, it is not of God. If you are voting based on the fact that you're afraid afraid of whatever, afraid of anarchy, afraid of civil disobedience, afraid of riots, afraid of um, immigrants, afraid of people uh, of another ethnicity, or a different skin color taking away the privilege that you've enjoyed. If you're voting based on fear, you are not being directed by God. God is not a God of fear. If, as a Christian, you have accepted the idea that the church, Christianity, Christendom needs to be defended by the state, by the government. You are biblically way off base. If as a Christian, you think you need some pagan king to protect you, your trust is in the wrong place. The church does not need an empire to protect her. The church, the people of God, are called to separate themselves from that empire. Come out from among them and be separate, saith the Lord. That whole call is to come out of what? To come out of Babylon, which was the symbolic name that the Bible gave to the Roman Empire. And it applies to every empire, whether it's Old Testament people of God under literal Babylon, or before that, Old Testament people of God under Egypt, or in between under Assyria, or under the Greek Empire, or the Roman Empire, or the Ottoman Empire, or the Third Reich, or the American Empire, Soviet Empire, Chinese Empire. There are empires always, and there are Christians who find themselves living 
in those empires and trying to be the best citizens they can, but never looking to the empire to protect them, to be their shield. That's God's position. The Lord God is our protector. The Lord God is our shield. You say, well, that's not practical. If I went by that, I, I could wind up, you know, being persecuted or maybe even killed. Yeah. <laughs> and joining the ranks of the glorified martyrs. What a privilege that would be. If your vote is motivated by fear, if your vote is motivated by this um, idea that the state needs to protect the church, if your vote is motivated by any one of a number of myths that are circulating around today, then it is not being motivated by truth, and therefore it's not of God. The myth of a Christian nation. The United States of America is not a Christian nation. It never has been a Christian nation. It was not founded on Christian principles. It was founded on Enlightenment principles by people, some of whom were Christians and many of whom were deists who believed in a distant God who did not interfere with much, with anything, and by people of other religions and faiths. It was never based on Bible principles. Oh, I, I know the pilgrims founded the Plymouth Colony thinking that they were starting the kingdom of God a city set on a hill, and pretty soon they were slaughtering native people, and they were burning witches, and they were excommunicating people that disagreed with them, including Roger Williams, who was the first Baptist in America and founded the first Baptist church, along with the colony of Rhode Island. if your vote is based on the myth of a Christian nation or the myth of redemptive violence, this idea that God has especially blessed and appointed the United States to be the, the uh, enforcer of all that is right and good throughout the world. If your vote is based on the idea that America is, by definition, better than all other nations and that Americans are somehow superior to, you know, Indians and Chinese and uh, Ugandans and even the British. Of course, what do we mean by Americans? There's a big push, of course, to wall off the border and to push back, not allow immigrants in. We are all immigrants. And if we want to get down to it, the only true Americans would be the indigenous native people who were here for 10,000 years before any Europeans, quote unquote, discovered this land. So if our vote is based on fear or if it is based on the idea that Christianity, the church, needs to be protected by the state or it's based on um, a myth of this being a Christian nation or uh, a myth of redemptive violence or uh, the myth of American exceptionalism, not to mention, of course, racist myths, like the myth that people with lighter colored skin are somehow superior to those with darker skin. If our vote is based on 
any of those things, it is not of God. If our vote is based on emotion because we're getting carried away with the crowd, we are in very dangerous situation. I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a Republican. I wish with all my heart that, generally speaking, Democrats cared more about human life before birth. And I wish with all my heart that, generally speaking, Republicans cared more about human life after birth. I don't think either group is pro-life. One may lean this way on that issue and the other way on another issue, but salvation is not in Democrats or Republicans or any of the other various degrees, and it is certainly not in guns and violence. And it is certainly not in absurd, um, myth is too mild a word, uh, uh, absurd uh, conspiracy theories. Sex rings being run out of a pizza parlor absolutely ridiculous, not only unproven, but proven to be completely false. As Christians, remember that we are called to the way of love. We are called to the way of reconciliation. We are called to the way of service, washing feet, we are called to be a light in a dark place. Love for those that Jesus called the least of my sisters and brothers in Matthew chapter 25. If that is the motive for your vote, then you're headed in the right direction. God bless you.